Alright, uh, what I'm going to show you how to do today is how to get like a new start bar and stuff like that. I'm going to teach you how to use unlicensed themes with XP. Alright, uh, the first thing, I'm, I'm recording this narration afterwards by the way, in case you haven't noticed, because uh, Cam Studio didn't record the original one for some reason, so whatever. Anyway, the first thing we're going to need is UX Patcher. So go ahead and open up your uh, browser and search for UX Space Patcher in Google. The first link is good. Just go ahead and click the first link and then click download. And choose your location or whatever. It should be on Softpedia. And then just, I'll just put it on my desktop in my UX patch file. Uh, folder but you can put it wherever you want okay so it's done downloading now so uh, I'm gonna double click that I'm gonna unzip uh, my file you can use WinRAR, WinZip, ShellZip, whatever but I'm using 7ZZip so whatever it doesn't matter just unzip it once you unzip it go ahead and double click that file that you just unzipped okay it'll come up with this little message that says like this program is going to change your it's going to modify your file for you to let you use unlicensed themes with Windows XP. Okay, so I'm reading that in the narration right now, but I'm recording this afterwards. I'm too lazy to change it, so whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, uh, now it's going to tell you to uh, press cancel after pressing OK or something. No, no, that that actually tells you your if all that information is correct, then you press OK. Okay, now now it's going to ask you if you're sure, and yes, you are. Now it's going to tell you when the Windows thing comes up, press cancel because it's detecting that you're trying to change one of the system files, so it's trying to stop that because you're not supposed to do that, but you want to do it for this obviously so just go ahead and press cancel like the message says or then press yes I want to cancel so then that's done so then I'm gonna turn off the uh, thing now so that I can restart my computer because you gotta restart your computer to boot with the modified file and I'll do that after you press OK it'll tell ask if you want to restart so I just went ahead and stopped it if you notice I'm back to XP theme now so my thing is set up now. Now we just gotta go and find some uh, some themes. A great place to look is customize.org. Another good place is DeviantArt, but I'm gonna use customize.org for this. So go ahead and go to search Google for customize.org or just type it in your address bar or something. And then it'll bring you to this page where you can just click in categories, click XP themes. And then uh, there's all these themes everywhere. <laughs> And then, if you need help at any point, instead of flooding me with messages or something about easy stuff, just look in the XP themes help. This site's actually really helpful. That's how I originally learned to do this, but this is just a helpful video. It also has a cool thing where you can pick your color scheme and stuff, which is pretty useful, obviously, because, you know, you want your colors to match your the rest of your setup or whatever. Anyway, go ahead and pick one you like. I inadvertently deleted my original one, and I haven't restored it at this point, so... I just download that one right there. So go ahead and open up what you want to download, then click the download file button. Keep in mind this is only the themes, it's not like the desktop and stuff, they just do that for like a nice cosmetic thing or something. Anyway, just go ahead and save that file in like a good place, like my documents or something, not on the desktop, because you need to keep the file in its current location to use it. So you're not going to want it in the way, and you're going to want to keep it. So I just put it in my documents, because it doesn't really matter what's in there. Anyway, go ahead and unzip your file. It's just asking me to overwrite, because I never actually redid the thing. I never actually, I still had it on my computer, when I because I had to re-record it more than once. So it probably won't ask you that. Anyway, you should have a .theme file. Don't worry about that. That's just in case you want to edit the theme. Like you want it to be a different color or whatever. But what you're going to want to go and find is the uh, MS Styles one. And just go ahead and double click that. It'll bring up your display properties. And then your theme should already be selected. Then just go ahead and click apply. And then it, it applies the theme and you're good. See there's a cool black bar now. So that's pretty cool. 
So, anyway, <laughs> that's really all you need to do. There's cooler stuff, you know, like get a cool desktop background or whatever, but you should be able to figure that out on your own. The themes is really the only hard part that people aren't really sure about how to do and stuff. Anyway, uh, you can thank Praise Raps for me doing this tutorial. Just ignore what's going on.